Using Loom to record standard operating procedures for your team sounds like a great idea until you realize that your standard operating procedures, in other words, how you do things, is going to evolve. And guess what? If you are decent at all of documenting your processes, your methods are going to change probably about every month for almost everything that your business does. So do you want to refilm a Loom video every single month for every single thing you do when your process evolves? No, I create videos for a living and I don't want to do that. No, instead, you want to be able to just change a word, a sentence, a screenshot, make quick adjustments on the fly. And that is why having SOPs in writing will actually save you far more time in the long run than creating videos that are very difficult to edit. Because if you do create videos, yes, you're going to save time up front versus typing, but every time you edit it, which will probably be about monthly, you have to refilm that whole video, which will kind of negate the time saving in just a few months. And then most likely when you notice the video is out of date, you're going to skip refilming the video because you are lazy and human like all of us. And so you're going to not update that SOP. And guess what happens then? When you don't update your SOP and you have this outdated Loom video, floating in your Google Drive for how, who knows how long, your team or you are being trained to distrust your SOPs. In other words, well, if I see an SOP in there, it might be right. It might be outdated. I don't know. So just ignore it. That is what you're teaching your team. So skip it. Skip the headache. If you want to record a video because that's how it works best for you, fine. But ultimately turn it into a text format before considering it complete. It'll take a little bit longer up front, but save you tons of time in the long tail and the many instances of you using that SOP in the future, which will ensure it actually stays up to date.